changed our workflow. This is where you may want to use the link to the slides to be able to see uh, this uh, up close. But you can see that we've added a, a, the senior editor role that has a special role, not just to build community among our editorial team, but to think very intentionally about how do we foster a spirit of inclusive excellence, uh, because we don't simply want to reproduce uh, many of the common kind of uh, approaches in thinking about manuscript management that, that tend to privilege certain voices and exclude others simply by the way the system is set up. And so what we're trying to do is create a different system. And, and Stephanie is a part of kind of reworking this system a bit, and she'll share a little bit more about that uh, now. Great, thank you, Chris. So, uh, so the other goal that I wanted to achieve for 2022 as senior editor was that I wanted to establish a process that maintained the inclusivity of the journal, even as it became more selective. And of course, as a journal, it, it, the journal tries to be diverse and inclusive, but it's a tricky balance to maintain, especially as submission numbers increase and then acceptance rates decrease. And even though the editorial team is quite diverse, uh, it, you know, we, we still have to be conscious that we're operating with certain standards and norms and biases that privilege some authors and not others. And so one way that I thought we could address this is by creating another layer of review that intervenes for manuscripts that have a lot of potential to make an interesting contribution, but they're not quite ready for the full review process for any number of reasons. Um, and you know, just in my years of having done the associate editor role, I did notice that uh, every once in a while, a manuscript may have an interesting topical or theoretical or methodological contribution to make, but at least in the point at which they're submitted, they're not quite in a publishable or potentially publishable state at that point. And if I were to have sent it out for review, most likely it would have not been successful in the review process uh, because not because it's not good, it just wasn't ready. So my role as senior editor is also to serve as a developmental editor for those particular manuscripts that might fall that might fall in that category. And so my role will be to identify manuscripts that fall into that and provide an early intervention. So before a manuscript gets sent to an associate editor, I would be providing extensive feedback uh, for so that the author can potentially improve the manuscript and it would come with an invitation to resubmit. It's not a promise to publish and it's not exactly an R&R, &R, but it's really a way to provide an early intervention with constructive feedback and hopefully to get more early career scholars published, uh, more authors based in diverse geographical regions published and so on. Um, and so that that's really the first step to to this and perhaps in the future this this particular piece could potentially expand in other ways uh, but certainly serving as a developmental editor would be a first step for this first year in the role if you're an associate editor just to know that stephanie will likely flag that to you to let you know that she's already been working with this author you of course have the autonomy to make whatever decision all associate editors are can still do uh, a, a desk reject or decline a before review uh, but she'll at least let you know uh, this is an author this by the way carries on a tradition krishna will tell you you should sit sometime and, and you really should we should write the history of this journal because really it used to be that every single author we would provide extensive feedback uh, prior. To, there was kind of multiple publication lines, and there was a special line for authors that we just were going to go back and forth until their, auth their papers were ready. So similar to faculty that continue to get feedback uh, throughout. And Krista, you're welcome to share about those, that, those times and those years. But it's uh, similar to faculty. There's a, I'm going to give you feedback until this is an A paper. I'll give you as many rounds of feedback as you want. That's really the spirit of how we began as a journal. And it's a way that we can continue in that, continue that value and, and, and make that continue to be central to our mission. So uh, 